Hi there, welcome to Double One Geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid Snakes mod. Now, here's the thing. This car's got, A, a key. And fuel. It seems motorbikes don't like to be moved, though. Right. So this could be a project car. Something that we can uh, try to repair. Use our mechanics to uh, bring it back from the brink, so to speak. I mean, if I'm honest, it probably should be a donor car. Look at all that. That's a lot of work. But apparently you should now be able to repair a lot of this stuff. As long as you've got the uh, the skills to do so. So, uh, there you go. So we're uh, getting ourselves prepped to do some metal working. And as usual, I press the button before I've been 100% ready. But hey. Let's put that propane tank in the back of the van. Take that needle. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the potatoes. That's a hog JD, eh? Now, if you don't know the uh, the reference. And that is to uh, Dukes of Hazard. And JD Hogg. That. The rich guy that uh, owned the police. And was a bit of an arsehole. Aren't they always. Right, the other thing I need to do as well before I head out is find myself some uh, wood. If I have any left. Actually, this battery should be charged by now, shouldn't it? Also looks like I need a, a rest as well. I'm not. Is that a, a log back there, or is that just some? Hmm. I need to make a cabinet, don't I? So what do I need? Five planks. Planks up here, I think. Three of the buggers. Is 
Am I able to find two planks from somewhere? Anywhere. I suppose I could make a small bookcase, couldn't I? But for the sake of two uh, planks. For the sake of one plank. Do you know what I might do? Oh, no. Don't need to. All good in the neighborhood. Speed that up. Okay, now we can start getting rid of some of these books that we, uh, Not that one. That one. There we go. Keep the book. <coughs> Excuse me. Still getting over that cough. Uh, those who, uh, for those of you that remember, oh, you need to sleep, don't I? I need to eat and sleep. Where's my saucepan? You're going to heat me up some beans. Okay, make a bowl of beans then. Put them in the oven. Heat them up. And to be honest, I really don't mind cold beans. I mean, they're nice or hot, but... They get cold after a while anyway, so... I want to get all the bonuses out of it. Saucepin can go back. I thought you'd probably want to use a saucepin, but there you go. Now. Okay, so let's get the... We've had a nice full stomach of beans. There's going to be a storm coming out. We know that. Well, I don't know what to expect down this area, if I'm honest. Okay, so am I still... Yeah, got a hammer. Move that out of the area. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready to go.
Only reason I'm using this van. Is because there's a larger amount of uh, space in the back. I mean, I love my wheelchair. It was very good for getting around in the early times where you want to be as quiet as you possibly can. But now we've uh, quietened down the neighbourhood, so to speak. It's not as necessary to be as quiet. I'm sure there'll be a straggler here or two. And I am going to ignore those stragglers. Maybe not this one, though. I mean, in all fairness, we could just get onto the main road here. I'm pretty sure that I've cleaned off the main road well enough to do so. Mm, there's quite a few here. Interesting. The other place to uh, maybe look at as well is McCoy's. There'll be a shed load of zombies up there. Always is. And McCoy's used to be quite fun back in the day. Because um, I, I will need to stop off at the gas station to pick up some more gas. Probably fill up the car as well while I'm at it. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was washing the zombies there. And there's more zombies than I thought. I think I might have to deal with these guys as well. Couple here as well. That's fine. Don't mind dealing with zombies. Wow. They really have populated down here, haven't they? Jesus. I wonder what caused that migration. Apart from obviously. The lack of any other zombies. And the natural equilibrium, the water like equilibrium of. Uh... of zombies. Right. It looks like I'm gonna end up having. Of course, I'm British, so why I went into that side of the thing when it's an American car. <coughs> that is just a reason for the fairies. Right. 
the fuel from the gas pump. Now, of course, gas pumps now have a limited amount of fuel. And that's what that fuel rod there is for, so I can check the levels. Oops. Never mind. Right, so three gas cans there. And I believe I have three in this duffel bag as well. Just keeping my ear out for zombies as well. Or trying to. Makes it a little bit more difficult. When it's windy and you've got a generator buzzing. One more gas can after that one. That'll be us with four gas cans. Okay, and there should be one in my hand. So that's six gas cans done. I might grab the fuel meter. Oh, that's quite a lot of gas. Okay. I wonder if each one of these is separate or whether it's the whole thing. One on five four four. And that one is if it's one one five four four, we know that it's the same. No, each one of oh, each one of these gas pumps has a different amount in there, so we've pretty much fairly got Enough gas to probably really last this character's lifetime. Okay. So about half there. Useful little tool. So if you have snakes mod. Oh, that's out. Okay. Interesting. On that note, as I've taken a little bit longer than usual, just want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, please press that like code, boop it as possible. Uh, just basically so it helps with me with YouTube algorithms. Uh, like, subscribe, press the bell icon, all that jazz. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.